Martin. Uh, what what is sort of on the table here for not just ABP but for the city of Hull? Yeah, I mean it's it's really a game changer for the city if we can deliver this. Um, in terms of a, a really a, a sort of a watershed moment for development of the port, uh, the city and region. We'll be investing over £200 million in completely redeveloping Alexandra Dock, where we're stood here uh, now, uh, in relation to developing a riverside berth, infilling large parts of the dock. Siemens will be developing a uh, nacelle manufacturing plant, making the, the internal bit of the wind turbine. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a real game changer for us. It's been a long process, hasn't it? How, how has it been whittled down to, uh, to this site? I mean, Siemens started their review process probably two or three years ago, um, which consisted of them looking at, I think, about 100 ports around the UK and, uh, and Northern Europe. Hull was uh, successful in being selected as their preferred location, which we announced at the beginning of the year. And we've spent the last 12 months getting ourselves to a position where we're, we're, here, where we're here today, where we're, we can almost submit plan, where we are submitting planning consents for development itself. Nobody's celebrating just yet. It's, it's a big hurdle, it's a big, big stage. Nobody's celebrating just yet, are they? No, um, it's a significant hurdle on the, the, the road on the way forward, but we still have a process to go through here. Um, obviously, everything is dependent on us ultimately getting planning consent for the development. And, you know, we can't take that as a foregone conclusion. But, you know, for Siemens and ABP to be confident enough to, to sort of go public and say, this is what we're doing, this is what we want to deliver, you know, we are all celebrating that as a substantial step for, for, for everybody. Briefly tell me how this area is going to change. The, the dock itself will be unrecognisable. Um, behind you we have a, 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 a disused timber uh, jetty which formed part of the original construction of Alexandra Dock. That will be infill, completely developing a 600 metre berth on the riverside. Large parts of the dock will actually be infilled to create new land areas for the storage and manufacture of the turbines themselves. A lot of the old sheds, um, storage areas that uh, we're using at the moment for general cargo will be completely redeveloped, um, leveled, you know, new surfacing and everything put on there, offices, testing facilities and everything else. And also a big part of the project is relocating our existing customers because you know, we've got some very important customers that are already based on Alexandra Dock uh, and we'll be looking to relocate as many of those as we can to alternative sites within the dock, so it's good. As far as governments are concerned, they've got, they've got a big list of things they need to achieve. We just talked to them earlier. Manufacturing, green energy are two of them. I mean, what, to, to what extent does this contribute to those? We think it ticks all the boxes. I mean, it's, uh, it's green energy, which is something that this nation has to adapt over the coming years. So it's producing you know, uh, wind turbines for that production. It's using existing port infrastructure, so we're redeveloping you know, existing facilities to be able to cater for that. It's manufacturing, it's creating manufacturing jobs with the blue chip employer, uh, and we'll be exporting from the UK, which you know, I don't know how many more boxes we can tick. Tell me about um, the employment um, perspective of this. I mean, I say there's so many different things that we can go at. The, the number of people, the quality of jobs, yep. and also the knock-on effect it can have. Yes, I mean, Siemens are saying that the number of jobs directly employed in the manufacturing plant itself will be about 700. Um, and if we look at that and sort of apply the port multiplier, as we would call it, which is applicable across all the businesses in the port, you know, there are 4,000 people that come to work on the docks every day. There are 17,000 people that work in the city of Hull because the docks is here. So if you just apply that kind of multiplier, you can see just from the Nazelle plant how exciting this could be. But beyond that, once we're successful in attracting Siemens and we've got this facility developed, it's our aspiration to be able to attract the wider supply chain, which are you know, the, 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 the manufacturers of the, of the towers and the blades and everything else that goes into making the wind turbine, because that's what this business model is about, making as many of the components in one port side location as you can. And we have over a thousand of ac acres of land available for that development going forward with Hull City Council, East Riding and ABP. So you know, we're very excited about the long-term opportunities as well. You mentioned that word, excited. I mean, <clears throat> is there any negativity from any party that you know of at this moment? And, and, and at this stage, there seems to be kind of um, an outflow of emotion, doesn't there? Yeah, and I think you know we've done some extensive consulting as part of the process of getting us where we are today. And it's been uniformly positive. You know, there are some sensitive aspects of the development. There are with any development, you know, which is why we're not counting our chickens at the moment. But having said that, you know, consultation now will form part of the formal process with Hull City Council. We'll be on the road early next year consulting with our neighbours, people like Victoria Dock residents, uh, the housing estate that's next to the port, in the city centre and in the surrounding regions to make sure that we continue reflecting their requirements. But actually, you know, it is once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I think, you know, the, the city and region have grasped that. 
uh, you know, and they're, they're, they're four square behind us in making sure that we can deliver it. And then I think the question seems to be just, you know, do it as quickly as you can.